Guys, I'm George. I'm going to do a review over this horror chair. This is my second horror chair that I have. The other one is exactly the same. However, it's black and not the orange there. Okay, so the horror chair, this one is made in Korea, South Korea. And uh, there are some pros and cons to this chair after sitting in it and using it for roughly about uh, three days now. Okay, so I'll start. Just give you a a closer look with this chair. There's not uh, many reviews regarding this chair. Okay, so the back end or basically all of the chair parts are broken up into four pieces. So you got for the seats, you got the two, which you can move up and down. So when you sit on it, it does get very comfortable. Only problem is when I sit on there and I have slacks, I tend to slide out a little bit. So that's the negative fallback with this chair here. Uh, there are some good pros and cons though too as well. The back section here, they are basically divided into two for lumbar. This is the lumbar support. It can be uh, removed. Let me remove it. And so it's just simple as that. If you can see that little small hole, uh, that little piece here just basically sticks inside there. So you can remove it. The back piece, it is only held in by these two spots. So uh, it is able to move, adjust to your back. The headrest basically goes up and down. Yeah, the chair moves up and down as well. The fallback to it is the armrest here it does not move up or down. It is solid. So if you like to slide your chair underneath the desk, this is perfect. But at the same time, the drawback is it doesn't go up and down. You're able to remove uh, the top cushion here for if it gets dirty or things like that. It, it is kind of comfortable. It's not too bad after sitting in it for some time. Uh, I don't know if I like my first edition or this edition, but uh, that is what it looks like. That's the horror chair. It's okay, it's not too bad. Available on Amazon for roughly about $300 plus the shipping and handling, which is another, I guess, 250. So a grand total of roughly about 500 US. Uh, it's not too bad. Uh, this is the chair of what it looks like on the back. Uh, okay, for the drawbacks of this chair, if you're sitting in it for some time, you're not able to slide this piece up or back. It's fully solid and it's stuck in that same position. The same thing for the back of the chair. It will not, uh, it will recline back but you're not, there is no lever for you to lock it in that position. And so it's only one lever to either lock it or unlock is to push in, push out. While at the same time, this one here is the up and down. Uh, so that is the chair on that. If I had a chance to go back and probably rebuy a new chair, I probably wouldn't select the Hara uh, just because after using this one for some time, I'm not really too happy, but it does do a great job in back support. Uh, it feels very, very comfortable. The only drawback, like I said, is that the seat section is not able to move uh, forward or back. At the same time, it's not able to tilt as well. And the back is not able to, is able to adjust, but you're not able to lock it into the positions like some other chairs do. And at the price of the 250 plus the shipping and handling, uh, maybe look for another chair, uh, but uh, the horror chair is okay. I'll use it for the office. This is what the material looks like in up close and uh, the orange there as well. So that's pretty much it. That is the horror chair in terms of one through a five star, uh, I would have to give this a, oof, a three and a half. All right, so that's pretty much it. Thanks, guys. I'm George.